What's up guys? Welcome to a different sort of video actually. Today I will be showing you how to make an effective defense. Uh, before we start I will briefly explain you what uh, my arsenal has to offer. Uh, we have two 7.5 centimeter packs, so anti-tank guns, uh, three MG42s and an anti-aircraft gun. Um, we have two engineers, four AP miners, four AT miners, two squads of German infantry. Uh, those are also the artillerists, the artillerymen that will man the guns later. Uh, a small anti-tank section and of course the command section. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is lay some mines. I already laid down some mines right here. Here are the anti-personnel mines and here we have the anti-tank mines. You can find the mines by clicking on the to the miners to item options and here are some mines. Uh, it is important to lay the uh, anti-tank mines first and then the anti-personnel mines because let's say a tank attacks he will drive over the anti-tank mines first those guys actually deal damage to the tank those don't made to some cars but not to tanks so let's say it's the other way around so the anti-personnel mines are in front the tank will just drive over like it's nothing and will possibly create a path for the infantry to advance for the enemy infantry of course now uh, there are some different styles of mining for example this is most likely effective when you have to be quick um, it's also effective against the AI this design you can also do this you just go uh, under item options to the mines uh, press shift and left click and then you can like free delay some mines this design is a little bit more useful against players because once a mine explodes the player most likely will try to defuse all of those mines. Now this would be the mine part. As you can see I've laid some additional mines like here in the forest and here at the destroyed houses. I also um, Dug out some trenches, for example here, here and all over there, to construct trenches. You go to the engineers, uh, go to emplacement options and you should find the trench you, which you just saw right here. You can also construct other things like small foxholes, tank barriers, barbed wire, uh, sandbags, the whole shebang. Now, uh, I'll just uh, quickly fill up the trenches with the infantry and... Uh, Alright, as you can see, I filled up all of the trenches with the infantry. Now, I also already moved the uh, t tank guns, the MGs and the anti-aircraft gun into position. Uh, now, I also constructed those bunkers uh, for the MGs. You can get the MGs inside the bunker if you just go uh, change artillery position go in direct control mode and just push the whole thing in and there we go and now we can freely shoot out of the bunker now I placed one of the anti-tank guns here overlooking the entire forest so the uh, left half and here we have the other anti-tank gun overlooking the right half as you can see on this gun, we have some sandbags right here. To construct those, you just go to the gun itself, go to special options, and then there should be the vehicle sandbags. Simple as that. Next thing would be uh, the anti-aircraft gun. Just try to like have it in the middle, so it can like uh, shoot at the aircraft from the right side and from the left side. Another thing which is pretty uh, important is to spread out your anti-tank guys. For example, I have Panzerfaust here, the Panzerstück there, and two Panzerfausts here. 
because let's say you have all the anti-tank guys on the left side and a tank approaches on the right side well it takes some time for the anti-tank guys to go from there to over there so just better have them right here and always uh, try to keep them alive I mean if yeah. they die they will most likely drop their anti-tank thing like the panzer first then just pick it up and then you know fight at the tank alright that was the little guide on how to build a basic defense hopefully you learned something and had fun watching I would be very happy about the sub for all life if you have any suggestions for improvement, then please let me know. In other words, have a nice day.